The 2-2 assault from K-16 orchestrated a capabilities exercise making anti-tank and anti-personnel minefields. The concept for this exercise hasn't been used in years. The air volcano system requires precision, but Major Darren Buss explains how the method is practical. Right now I'm standing next to an air volcano system mounted on a UH-60 Lima aircraft. The air volcano system is a air deliverable, scatterable minefield. Chief Warrant Officer Stan Turnage tells us how the demonstration took months of planning and preparation. We started this back in February of this year. A part of it was mounting the system, going through the testing, uh, development and training programs, and also qualifying the air crews in order to be able to conduct the mission. The mission scenario is, North Korean troops are advancing into South Korea, and there is a key weak point on the front line in a critical valley. To neutralize the threat, 2-2 assault must create a minefield. They launch them? Yeah, they launch them. Yeah, they launch them. PFC Joshua Harrell says he learned a lot from the exercise. I had no problems. Everything went off, you know, without a hitch. Uh, shot off everything. And it was awesome. It felt great. The goal of the exercise was to effectively demonstrate the functional use of the mine dispensing system. If North Korea ever advances into South Korea, 2-2 assault now has another means to stop it. Specialist Keith Burkhart, Young Sun Korea. For more on this and other stories, check out Army.mil. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television in Washington.